Uh, hi, I'm Sam Tordoff. And hi, I'm Rory Butcher. We've got some questions for each other. We certainly do. So, Rory, do you expect the Honda Civic to perform well this weekend? Yeah, I do actually. Um, I think historically it's been quick here. Um, both of, we were both quick at the test. Yeah. And uh, I think all going well. We should be, should be up there. I think so too. Yeah. Um, right, Sam. What are your aims for this weekend? I need to start my season. Yeah, that'd be maybe nice. We could draw a line under the, the first two events for you. Yeah. Um, I need points. I need big points. So um, we have to qualify well. Obviously, got no weight on, so need to take yeah. advantage of that. The yeah. car's going to be good, like you said, um, and we need to we need some podiums. Hopefully, a win yeah. maybe. Yeah, hundred percent. I think, like you say, big points. You just need to kind of aim aim high and and uh, see what we get. See what we get. Yeah. So, okay. Cool. One right. for you. Right, go for it. How does the Civic compare to the MG? Civic and the MG, well, they are they are quite uh, they are different. Um, the the MG was was nice to drive. Um, very stable, uh, good in the wet. Um, I'm just finding with the Honda, it's just yeah, a little, leave it a little bit more pointy, um, and it's I can just get a little bit more performance out of it overall. So it's given me the confidence to, to kind of run at the front and attack, mm. and and uh, yeah, both cars are good, but yeah, the Honda just has a little edge. I think it's more refined, isn't it? It's a little bit more refined. Had more investment on it. Yeah, moved forward a lot. Yeah, a lot of development. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I drove the MG obviously. So you did back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, how many? You must have pole positions and wins, and it was fast. Yeah, it was yeah. fast back then. Yeah. On its day, it was very fast. Yeah, but it. Um, it's always it been also, a big car, though, isn't it? It's always yeah. been big, and I think the long wheelbase it just it's a different. I just don't like, think it stood the test of time. It, yeah. As the years went on, I think it lacked the development it needed to keep up the front. I think. Yeah, yeah, and no, I would yeah. agree with that. Um, but hey. We'll see. We'll see how that how the, those guys get on later in the year. Mm -hmm. Maybe we we'll get some wet, wet win races. Right, Sam. Um, you've had a tough season so far. Um, a lot of bad luck, but you've been super fast. Um, but you know, through all the hard times that you've had in the last couple of rounds, you you know, what's your favourite moment so far? Is it maybe being my teammate? Uh, yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Is it me? You bring s sunshine to my every day. Cool. Um, no, I think uh, what's been my favourite moment. I think we've had some we've had some good times. Um, qualifying at Donington w was good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> test winter testing was good. We, That's we, true. We had we had media day. You were smashing media, the time media day. We were fast. Uh, just right up until when it counted, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we've we've I think we've we've mo the team's moved on a lot, and I think we've 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 set our start out this year as to being up the front consistently, yeah. winning races, and obviously you've done a really good job. And I think that's probably opened a lot of people's eyes as to, um, you know, we're not here to make the numbers this year. Yeah. So I think uh, that's probably been the best part. Yeah, agreed. Good. Yeah. Right, well, for you. Uh, how have you found the Dunlop's new wet compound so far? Peaky. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's a hell of a lot of grip from the new tyre. Um, Definitely fast. But it's, it? it's, it's very fast over like one lap, two laps. It's just you've got to get the lap in, in that window, whereas Probably on the previous tyre, I would say you had a, a slightly uh, more time to kind of do your lap. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I think we still need we need to learn a little bit more about it, and um, you know have we really haven't had consistent wet conditions yet. So no. Brands, it was kind of drying, wasn't it? It was damp, yeah. but not fully wet, and the same at Donington. Um, so yeah, but uh, need a proper wet weekend. Need a we? proper wet weekend, definitely. Mm. Maybe but a knock hill. Knock it. Hey, no, it's gonna be dry. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sam. So you're talk, you, you know you mentioned about the team how they move forward, but how, how are you settling in at AMD Tuning? Yeah, good, very good. Feel, feels like home. Yeah, it's funny. This we're sat in the old Triple Eight truck, which obviously what I, I sat in when I drove for MG. So yeah. it's in a it's a funny sort of way. It feels like I've come home a little bit. Um, uh, I think the guys have been been really accommodating. I think it's worked quite well with the the, Audi, the two Audi guys as well. Yeah, true. Uh, and the Audi side of the team because they definitely helped the overall. Um, Learning team and yeah. learning and development and there's definitely a bit of stuff we can um, learn from that side and vice versa and uh, no I've settled in very well feels like home good good yeah. um, no I think that when I moved to you know this team last year it was uh, yeah no Sean and the guys have been been great uh, right your turn you got to send me a question okay what does it feel like to now be a race winner in the BTCC? It feels like uh, like walking on water. 
Did you sign a load, load of autographs on the Monday? I afterwards? did, mate. I did, but it was only from a little boy. <laughs> um, nah, it feels good. But look, it's uh, we've still got to, to actually win a race outright. Outright. Yeah, of course, because it was done in the stewards room, wasn't it? It was, mate. And uh, no, no driver wants to, no. to win that way. But we'll take the points, and uh, yeah, we're still kind of hunting for that first victory where we cross the line, get the checkered flag, um, and I think you know one of us is going to do it sooner or later. Definitely. Right, you've already done it. Yeah, but, but we're going to do it properly, properly aren't we? And yeah, I think one of us is going to do that soon. It's going to happen, and we just need uh, the right circumstances. First, we've got to qualify well, and uh, and that will give us a good chance, hopefully, yeah, yeah. this weekend. But I think that's amazing that we AMD um, never won a race before, yeah. and then we turn up the first weekend, yeah. and then you win. That happens. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, that's great. Sound of a good year. Exactly. Um, right. Let's you got see any more? If got any more, mate? I'm all out. Uh, all right. Here we go. Um, it's specific to the car. So you've uh, you've you've been around in touring cars for a long time. You know, was it MG? Sound old? Yeah, quite old. I'm older than you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm right. thirty. How old are you? I'm thirty two. He's older than me. Probably. <laughs> Right, MG, MG BMW, BMW, Focus, Focus anything Focus. else? No, and no, then, then so the Honda. Civic, so yeah, you, you've yeah. got good experience in BTCC, so what's the Honda like for you? Uh, the Honda's the one I always wanted to drive. I think yeah. when Gordon beat me in uh, whatever that was, 2016. 16, yeah. Um, yeah, I've always I've always wanted to drive a Honda. Never thought I would be able to do it, actually. Yeah. And, and uh, for a long time, last year, I thought the plan was always to carry on with the Focus and have a two-year thing, so... Yeah. This this year sort of came a bit left field. wasn't really quite on the on the uh, initial plan. Yeah. Um, but I like it, and yeah. I think it's uh, I think overall it's the best package for me. I'm more comfortable in front wheel drive than rear wheel drive. Yeah. Um, so if BMW was a great car, obviously, and I've so very nearly won the championship. But I think I yeah. think in touring cars, I think I'd I, I prefer being in a front wheel drive yeah. car. Yeah. Well, you came up. The Cleos, didn't you? Uh, did yeah, you? I did yeah. Cleos. Yeah. Um, did Crow Cup as well. So I've, I've kind of done like half and half all yeah. the way through my career. Yeah, I can sort of do both. Um, but I think I think the Civic and front wheel drive is is the way for me. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, uh, no, I think uh, the for me I came from rear wheel drive for ten years, so it's mm. been a I've had to adapt to the front wheel drive um, driving style, and, and it was tricky initially, but. Uh, to be honest, that that came over a few, a few rounds, but the biggest, uh, the hardest part for me was the racing in touring cars. I don't know what you found when you went from Carrera Cup just learning the racing straight into the yeah. BTCC. It was tough for me. It's different, completely different yeah. than anything else. And I think I, that just goes to show a lot of people um, think they can jump in yeah. and be at the front. Yeah. And there's a lot, there's a lot to touring cars. Yeah, you have to kind of almost initially be comfortable finishing further back and just yeah. learning the trade, and then yeah. over time you get up there. So yeah. Good, Good chat. Out of the uh, questions. So, you want to get a coffee? Good. You yeah. Know. Let's go to yeah. track walk. Let's do track walk. Come on. Cheers, guys.